This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm not going to embarrass myself by repeating dialogue from this movie, and I don't need to explain myself. Cleopatra Jones is a black exploitation action film from 1973 directed by Jack Starrett, following the titular soul sister and government agent as she cleans up the streets of crime, drugs, racism, and corrupt cops. After destroying an opium farm, Cleopatra comes home after learning that the farm's owner, a wealthy drug lord named Mommy, has called for a raid of a youth rehabilitation center started by Cleo. As Cleo tries to figure out who made the call and fight back, she faces resistance from Mommy's henchmen, other dealers under her wing, and a few other bad apples trying to make things difficult. Thankfully, Cleo can handle things because that's just how badass she is. Needless to say, this is pretty much a quintessential example of a black exploitation film, from its character archetypes to plot points and story beats, and, of course, production values. On the surface, the film is a pretty cheap and standard action affair with enough money spent in some scenes to say that it has thrills and spills and actual locations to work with, but not enough that this is the case across the entire movie. There's a good number of scenes of characters just talking with each other, often standing or sitting around in fancy and well-decorated rooms that you only ever see once or twice. It's at least helped by the actual cast, who all have a good amount of charisma and charm which bleeds through the screen and makes them entertaining in their own right. Of note is the drug lord Mommy, who seems to know what kind of character she's supposed to be, and so she hams it up in all of her scenes, coming through as both an actual threat to anybody around her and an entertaining presence in general. Story-wise, the movie does suffer a bit from not actually having a singular through-line. While there's definitely a backbone structure through the ongoing feud between Cleo and Mommy, it's something that doesn't really pay off until closer to the film's conclusion. Instead, the movie kinda bounces between two sorts of scenes action scenes in which Cleo investigates and fights some kind of enemy, or talking scenes where, well, characters talk. And there isn't really a smooth transition between these scenes, not so much in that scenes end suddenly, but more that the chain of events doesn't necessarily blend well. While individual scenes are relatively complete, the overall film feels like a series of ideas and concepts stapled together. Thankfully, there is actually enough in the way of action that distracts from this, and the filmmakers were savvy enough to know this and revel in it. There isn't always enough action in some scenes, but plenty of action in others to make up for it. Basically, it's more than enough to sate your desires, especially if you don't ask for much in the first place. And really, that's pretty much how you should go into this movie. It's a black exploitation action film made to sell popcorn and theater seats, and it does that job well. It's not great, but it's hardly an awful film. It's got enough story to keep you engaged, and it, there's plenty of action to keep you entertained. Overall, it's a fun movie. It's not something you have to look at in a deeper way, but I did, so I guess I'm just a jerk. Cleopatra Jones, Jack Starrett, 1973. Three stars. I'd say to give it a watch. And that's it for the review. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you want, leave a comment. As always, subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I'm surprised this place hasn't given me more black exploitation films. Maybe it's saving them.